Are you interested in a 20 ton crane for free? G'day. I've had this one on the back burner for some time now. Wanted to tell you out of curiosity about something in my local area up on top of a mountain uh, that somebody on Facebook was advertising to give away. Now it's right near where you've seen a few times I've gone to have the world's best burgers and it's obviously been there for many years but there's a 20 ton crane it's a Kato KR20H four-wheel drive all-terrain crane with a great big jib now I've done a bit of research the total weight with the boom is around 23 tons which is around 23,000 kilograms the boom alone is 8.4 meters so nearly 30 foot long that's in front of the body of the crane itself and it's been there for as long as I can remember. Well, recently someone clued me up to the fact that the current owner of the property, and it's only a small average quarter acre block, had listed it to give away for free. I don't know the history of it. I assume obviously the owner used to have a crane business, but it's a very old crane. Now this woman, obviously I assume she doesn't know what she has because in my mind, if you're going to give it away, obviously because whoever it was, the father or grandfather even, used to have a crane business. And it sat there derelict for many years, as you can see by these photographs. But whatever the case, I would surely think that it's worth a lot of money if you maybe got the scrap metal dealer to come and get it. I've just looked up the scrap prices currently, and it equates to around $43,000 in steel. Now I had a look at this Facebook listing when I was told about it and immediately someone said sold. I'll pick it up this afternoon. Well, last time I went past there it was still there and I imagine it will be for some time yet. Well, it's still here, up where we have lunch, which are what we're about to do. Still here, obviously no one can get it out. <laughs> hmm. There you go. The logistics of getting it out, I cannot fathom. I mean, it's just a small double lane street. So even if you skull dragged it out with a huge bulldozer, how you would even get it onto a, a loader is beyond me, even with another gigantic crane. Obviously you can't drive it out as is. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I've always been interested in earth moving equipment, not so much cranes, especially not cable ones. So that's why I follow a channel called Diesel Creek and shout out to Matt on the extremely odd opportunity you ever encountered this video but he has an enormous property and like I say this is just a normal little house block that the crane is in now it would be great obviously if an enthusiast bought the vehicle and managed to get it going but it wouldn't be a cheap operation I assure you anyway that's one of those things um, yeah. but for free I mean yeah, like I say, it's worth a lot of money in scrap. But it's a bit of a nightmare to get out, so uh, yeah, just a short video, but one I've been meaning to bring to you for a while. I know parts are extremely expensive for earth moving equipment, like in the vicinity of $1,000 just for a filter. So this thing would obviously need new tyres, etc. So I don't imagine it's going anywhere quickly. <laughs> but if you are interested, give me a shout out and I'll. See if it's still there next time I go past. But I doubt it's going anywhere fast. Okay, thanks for joining me for this short video. See you soon. And of course, during the filming of this, literally someone starts to use a drill the very moment I grab the camera. <laughs>